all right welcome back to the channel this video is going to be a little bit different because i want to make something to educate on all of the new changes you're going to see on gpts we rolled out some changes you guys gave me feedback you didn't like all of the changes we rolled back some changes and here is what remains so everything you need to know about gpts as it stands all about its new look and feel and where to find everything you didn't know you needed let's get into it Okay, so the very first thing I wanna show you is the new look and feel of GPTs. So if I send a prompt, the first thing you're gonna notice is that your prompt will be in this pink gradient in the top right, and the two options that generate have a new styling, and they're labeled option one and option two, and when you hover over them, they are in different colors. So once you pick the option you like, which I will just go ahead and select this one, it will fill the screen as it always has. Now, what's really exciting, and this is the newest and biggest update to GPTs in terms of features, is that you can actually edit the GPT's response that has been given to you. And why this is important, I'll get into, but first, let's find out how you can do that. Say you didn't like a section of the response or it wasn't just quite perfect, you can highlight it and click this pencil to open up the Canvas feature, or you can go to the bottom and you can click this edit button and that will also open up the canvas feature. It will appear on the right side and in here you can change a ton of stuff. You can completely delete things. You can edit formatting, make things into headers or make them bold or you can italicize things. You can add bullet points, you can add text, you can do literally whatever you want. And what I really love about this canvas feature is this is where you can actually edit with GPTs as AI only specific parts of the response. So let's say I want to change this highlighted area, but only this highlighted part. I could highlight it and click this button, edit with AI, and it's gonna give me these four options. It's gonna say reimagine, which is basically regenerate completely. It's gonna say more descriptive. This is gonna go into more depth. That's gonna use more detailed language. You can click expand and expand means go further into the idea or kind of expand on it, make it longer, make it more involved. And then you have this button aligned with brand. This is really important to use only if you have personalization done. So if you haven't personalized GPTs, you need to go and finish that. But when you click align with brand, it's gonna take that highlighted section and it's gonna make it more aligned with all of the personalization you have. So more closely aligned with your persona, anything you've edited in your personalization will come into play if you click that aligned with brand button. Now you also have this box to enter custom instructions, which is really great because you can custom edit with GPT's AI that highlighted section only. So let's use that for an example. Let's make this more sexually graphic. Now I'm gonna click apply changes and only that highlighted section is going to be edited and changed. So here you go. Now it has been made much more sexually graphic. I'm sure you can read the screen and see for yourself. Now, once you've made these edits, you have to click the save button. And once you've saved it, you'll notice that your actual GPT's response in the chat has been edited and reflects those changes. What's so important about this is that anything you do in continuation of this chat will reflect those changes you've made. So if you edit this and say, maybe the language was, I want you to stroke slowly, and then you went in and you edited and you said, I want you to stroke faster, all next chats will reflect that faster stroking. Like it's going to take into consideration that change that you've made for all future outputs in this chat. And that is so, so critical for making GPTs an extension of yourself as a creator. It gets so much better than it's been in the past. This is like next level stuff, guys. Now, once you've edited in Canvas and you've kind of made your changes, whether that's through the edit icon or whether that's through just highlighting it and clicking the pencil, once you've made those changes, you will notice over here on the left-hand sidebar when you open it, you don't just have your regular chat history, but you also have a library area. And in this library area is all of your past canvases that you have opened and edited, making it really organizationally amazing to go in and 
kind of find your scripts or find your SEO titles and descriptions or whatever you've been working on, it's almost like a Google Drive layout for you as an explicit creator. And you can pivot and switch the view of this to view it in gallery or to view it in list, whatever is more convenient, but it will always be there for you. Now, if we go to a new chat, I wanna also point out this microphone icon that is now in the prompt box. You can click on that microphone and then you can do speak to text or voice to text so that you can verbally prompt GPTs now. That is a new addition as well. So these are just some of the new things we have rolled out for GPTs. There's some other features that aren't so obvious. You can now upgrade to a Teams plan and only have two seats. We made this change because we wanted to consider the adult creator who maybe has one personal assistant and only needs to pay for two seats versus kind of the agency model that might be trying to build out a team or or their GPT's profile for multiple chatters. So now you can just have a team of two on GPT's. And last but not least, we made GPT's better for mobile. So if you are accessing GPT's on a cell phone, which a lot of us do, the benefit of this is that it's gonna look a lot cleaner. There are push notifications. So if you save GPT's to your home screen, like an app on your phone, you can get push notifications, which maybe will send out a push notification to let you know that you haven't finished a script or to let you know that you should come up with content ideas for an upcoming holiday, things like that. So it makes using GPTs in real time as an adult creator from your phone that much more seamless and that much more simple. So I hope this clears the air. We did at one point only give you one prompt response. You guys did not like that. So we give it back. There's two, you guys have two. Everyone should be happy. And thank you guys so much for the feedback. This at its core is a tool for you, for creators. So any changes you want in things that don't really work with with your day-to-day -day of how you run your adult business, let me know, let a girl know, reply to our emails. Like that is me emailing you. <laughs> we wanna make sure that you are getting the absolute most out of this product because it is literally made with you in mind. So I hope you like the new changes. I hope you crush it with the canvas feature and let me know what things you wanna see more of or you're cur curious or even excited about in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.